And this is the view on our bedroom window tonight. I don't think you can beat it. I suppose this is why people get hooked on boondocking. Yeah, for sure. Just finding stuff like this for free. What's up guys, it's Christine and Aaron from Irene Iron Fitness and today we are gonna do our first boondocking experience. So today we're gonna try our first boondocking experience at a, a little spot we found off a of Campendium and it's right off a of grassy lake road I think it is and it's a half hour south of the um, southern Yellowstone entrance. And it's not very adventurous, it's kind of a... Um, uh, I think there's like 20 primitive sites. There's actually a vault toilet and numbered sites, so it's not like it's out in the middle of nowhere. But for us, it'll be our first boondocking experience. Be a good transitional. Yeah, and that'll be night one. And then night two, we are going to go um, to like the lower and upper Teton area, which is also uh, free camping. Also found on Campendium. It is Labor Day today. Today. And people are actually like flooding into Yellowstone to get camping. We were surprised. It seems more busy, but that maybe is because people are like people crisscrossing. Are crisscrossing. Yeah. Which we we're gonna go experience more stuff at Yellowstone today, but I don't know. We've we've just been kind of cooped up here, and uh, we gotta we gotta keep moving. We we're gotta keep moving. We're ready to go. Tires. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Turns gravel. Narrow winding road, next 20 miles. Road seems pretty decent so far. Whoa. Whoa. Little washboardish. Well, it'll take us a day to get to Idaho at this rate. <laughs> mm, pretty. Yeah, it is pretty down there, isn't it? That guy's playing guitar down by the river. Is he? Yeah. Oh, sweet. First I thought he was fishing, but he's playing the guitar. All right, so we'll have to check out other spots, I guess. Like keep going down this road? Yeah. There's camp two. Can you see back there? One, two. Two rigs back there. Two of two. I think that they would put more back there. So we've seen six campsites. What do we want? Maybe like a mile? I haven't been tracking. I didn't track it, but it's it is, painfully slow. Yeah, it is slow. It is really beautiful back here, though. Looks like this loops around. Very narrow road. Pretty tough to get two vehicles by. Two big rigs would be extremely difficult. What's this say? It's a piece of paper on this one. Full. Campsite full. They didn't want anybody messing with their spot. Let's just go up to the next one and turn around. Maybe it'll be a better. Maybe it'll be a better turnaround. Okay. We're maybe two miles in. And we're not having much luck. <laughs> but it is really, really pretty. Well, that was a big fail so far at the grassy lake road <laughs> campsites. Along the grassy knolls. Yeah, we made it as far as Glad Creek Trailhead, and it's probably a couple miles up the road. Um, I think we made it to campsites five or six. Um, it was kind of weird. The very first one had four sites, 
And then after that, they'd have like two, two. or one. Like, it's just kind of weird. You know, in the middle of nowhere, there's a toilet, garbage cans, and then like one campsite. So like they went through all the effort to, you know, make it a nice campsite, but for just one person and it's huge. Um, so, I mean, that'd be pretty sweet for that one person, but I just don't get it. So I don't know. It probably took us a half hour or more to get up the road. It's really just bumpy and really bumpy, windy. really windy, really slow. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to, I guess, head back down the hill and keep going to the lower and upper Teton areas and see if there's anything there. Well, we left the boondocking spot and we're headed into the Tetons here and we found this beautiful little lake, Jackson Lake. Jackson Lake Overlook. Overlook. And it's pretty amazing. It's amazing. That water is turquoise, the giant mountains behind us. Incredible. Yeah, it's super windy and I don't know, it feels like the ocean right now. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It takes all your cares away. Yep, but we are going to keep heading into town. I guess we're going to hit the little grocery store and... Yeah, let's hit the grocery store so we don't have to eat canned salmon for the next three days. Yeah. It was pretty nice. It was cute, like almost touristy. And they had a decent selection, a small selection of a wide variety of things. So like I got some chicken, five bucks a pound, way better than the eight bucks a pound at Yellowstone. Pretty view. So this is attempt number two at boondocking for the day and we're at the lower Teton site in the National Forest right across from the Tetons. Toppings Lake it says. Overnight vehicle camping allowed only in designated sites next five miles. I have a feeling we're gonna get lucky. Maybe if it was earlier, it's almost four in the afternoon now. I'd say the road is pretty spotty. I mean, you could easily take it in a car or SUV, but the big rigs, you gotta drive really slow so you don't lose all your contents in your cupboards. So we just stopped and talked to some a truck camper that was coming down the opposite way and they said that there's a couple spots up there yeah and the road's really rough so that's kind of scary coming from a 4x4 pickup truck and a uh, he had like a pop top camper so it wasn't even a tall one it was a pretty low profile truck camper but at least hopefully we'll have a spot to stay for the night Well, unless we lose our spot to that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's showing us who's boss. So we'll check back in when we get to the top. Yeah, in like a year. <laughs> yeah. So the first spot's on the left. There's quite a bit of big rigs look like. Mostly class A's. 30 footers plus. Look at that view they get. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. This is only about a, maybe a half mile up the road. So this road is absolutely horrible. It's super narrow, but I mean, if you drive really slow, it's... It actually stresses me out. It's fine, it's just... It's just a little nervous. Watch out for that big bump. We don't want to hit our bottom. Very steep, very narrow. 
very windy, but road seems to get a little better up top here. Yeah, I feel like that stretch we just went through was hopefully the worst. Uh, it was pretty, pretty big ruts. I was uh, white knuckling it like Minnesota blizzard. There's a momentum fifth wheel up there. Jeez. Can you imagine pulling that thing up here? Is that KYB up there? Yeah, the road definitely gets a little bit better once you get up the steep part. And as long as you go slow, like three miles an hour, three miles per hour, you're fine. And just stay steady. Yeah. Is that eight through sixteen? I think that's eight through sixteen. Okay. Why don't we go up there? That looks like what they're. And that's there. seventeen. That's just one spot. Yeah. Is there a car behind you? Uh, yes. There's an airstream out there. So that's eight through 11. This is totally a spot, right? It's gotta be. Wow. Looks like we're getting Wi-Fi, right? I'm gonna go check our level. Well, we found our spot on top of the mountain. Chris is already cooking dinner. It's actually lunch. Or lunch, yeah, we got a late Four o'clock lunch. lunch, classic. And it's breathtaking here. I, I have never experienced anything like this and it will be a memory that I remember forever. I don't our, know how else to say it. Our first BLM land. Our first. Our first. It's awesome. I'm glad we didn't get into the first spot because this spot is better. Yeah, I read that the parking lot down at the bottom is where the the not so adventurous people go. And then if you keep, mm. keep going up the hill, it's well rewarded. Yeah, well worth it. Well worth the drive. We spent like, I don't know, three hours, three and a half hours from start to finish to get to this point. And well, we spent like an hour on that first site. I mean, this mm -hmm. this road was worse, but it was shorter. Yeah, way shorter. Nice. Yeah, I'd say we drove up this road for 10 minutes. Right. And the first road we drove up for like a half hour at Grassy Lake. Yeah, it's awesome here. Like, so we're gonna eat lunch. It's really hot up here. The sun is intense. I'm standing here and just getting like a sunburn on my legs. Um, <clears throat> I do want to get a workout in here though, so we're going to eat, let that settle, get a workout in, set up our chairs, watch the sunset, and just see what happens up here. Big rigs coming in, fifth wheel, and a big 30 foot travel trailer. Chop, chop, chop. There goes the neighborhood. All hell's gonna break loose out there. What you making? I'm gonna make some dirty rice. I'm gonna make dirty rice. And I'm gonna cut up a bunch of chicken and make some chicken. Good. Doesn't that just sound great? <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Do you want some celery? I just ate a piece of celery. Do you want more? Oh. He's like a little lap dog. 
it's the cutest little fox. Nobody else is here except for us. Their neighbors are. Did you see him just sit down like a little dog? Yeah, did you get that video? Yeah. I had my telephoto zoom lens. Well, we made it to our very first BLM dispersed camping spot, and what a great one for our very first one. We absolutely fell in love when we came to the top of this spot here and saw the mountain views. It's been a great evening so far. It's been a great day. It's been a great year. <laughs> it's been a great year. But today it was and particularly special. Yeah. Our neighbors are super nice too. Like they've come over a couple times and you just can't beat this RV community. Everybody, it's like-minded people enjoying life and living life to its fullest. Yeah, absolutely. And we had lunch up here already. We just got done working out, which was great. And yeah, this mountain weather is making us shift to PM workouts, which is different for us because the mornings are like 41 degrees and I'm under 16 blankets. Yeah, and at, during the day it was like 80, 85, 85 it got up to. Yeah, it was super hot. So it was a good day all in all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to tune in next week and see where our adventure takes us after this. I think we're gonna be uh, sticking around the Tetons here for a couple days and then we're gonna be heading up to the Seattle Washington area. State. Washington State.